Nairobi, Philip Arnold Subira, is today being installed. Anyolo Alar arrived in Nairobi yesterday and was received by jubilant Catholic faithfuls and other religious leaders. Let's follow that proceeding live right now. Name 666. The Good Shepherd, however, has a personal interest in his people. The Good Shepherd doesn't think in big structures, and his role and his rule is not oppressive. He doesn't surrender, so to say, to the digitalization of the human being. You are not a number for him. You have a name, and he calls you by your name. Calls you by your name. Of course, you could also turn it the other way around. You could ask yourself, whom would you like to know by name? Who is it you would like to be close to? Whom would you like to have a close relationship with? Because that will tell you a lot about your priorities in life. And maybe it will even indicate to you whether you're a good shepherd or a thief and a robber. A thief or a robber or a murderer always puts his bets on the following three horses. Power, desire, and money. Power, desire, and money. Every crime that is committed on this earth comes down to these three things. Power, desire, money. These three horses are a bit like the horses from the book of Revelation. They unleash evil into the world. And that is also why the sheep run away from them. The sheep run away from the thief and the robber. The sheep of the good shepherd run away from power, desire, and money. If you yourself maybe are a shepherd, if you are a priest, or a religious, or a bishop, or even a politician, by whom do you want to be called by name? To whom do you warm up to? To whom do you feel close? And let's face it, power, money, desire, they have an irresistible attraction. And all of us feel that temptation. None of us, none of us is immune for it. It reminds me a bit of Peter, whose letter we read today. Peter writes to his Christians, for to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow into his footsteps. Archbishop Philip Agnolo is um, being installed as the Nairobi Act Diocese, Diocese Bishop. We'll be following up on that story and bring you the updates in our subsequent bulletins. But now we go to our conversation. The world continues to stare at the degrading environment and the effects that has on life and the face of the earth. Several measures have been put in place to address climate change in order to restore the environment and avoid the unending disasters caused by the wanton destruction of the climate. But in all this, where do the youth fall? What's their role in protecting the environment? This conversation comes days after the COP26 that saw New Deal signed. I am having this talk with Victor Mugo from Climate Food Systems. Karibu sana, Mr. Victor Mugo. Now, this conversation on climate change is timely, especially now knowing that the youth have longer time to spend on the face of the